All right, so I'm Jonah Barber. I'm the president of MRX Labs and MRX Extractors. And I just wanted to take you kind of on a tour today about some of the technology we have here. This is our 20 liter supercritical extractor here. This is our product vessel. Uh, three to eight pounds goes in there of uh, trim typically. Um, what's really unique about our extractor system is that we have full process control over the entire process. Uh, the three most critical parts when you're doing CO2 extractions are your temperature, your flow rate, and your pressure. We have full control, so what that means is when we set our parameters, it's going to stay in a very tight, tight zone, it's not going to deviate, which means we're able to actually preserve the terpenes through the extraction process. That means we don't actually have to try to reintroduce them, but they're actually preserved for the process, so our customers are actually winning awards uh, like the Dope Cup and Oregon Medical Marijuana Cup with their products. Uh, we could teach just about anyone how to run it. Um, essentially, we can go ahead here, put in our product weight. Uh, most of our customers are running six to eight pounds. They're doing about 10 to 11 uh, hours per run, and there's doing two runs a day. So they're running essentially 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So here we set our, our product weight, how many hours we want to do. Uh, we do offer fractionalized um, extraction, and so we can do a THC extraction or a CBD extraction here. Um, here you can actually go and con control your settings as far as um, your PSI for THC extractions, your temperature, your CBD extractions. Um, once the product's actually set and you hit start, what that actually means is uh, we, one of the patents we have pending is an automatic high pressure, low pressure, and temperature corrections. And so if we set our extraction target at 1800 PSI and our temperature at 120, it's going to stay in that very tight zone and it's not going to deviate. And if it starts to deviate, it'll automatically self-correct itself. Um, what that also means, too, is that we have, um, essentially, we can go ahead and have repeatability with products. Because um, now you're taking the human element side out of it, and you don't have to have a high-paid engineer, or artist, or chemist running your machine. Uh, once it's actually set up and going, they can actually step away and do another part of the process. And it actually has the smart technology in there will actually call your phone and tell you if you're getting low on CO2 or if you have a problem like your power went out, it will actually call your phone. Um, and then as you can know, each strain is very specific and can react differently. So if you have a really good uh, successful run, you can actually go back in after it's over and look at the, the trending analytics and it'll give you the whole entire run showing you where your temperature and pressure were. What that means is you have repeatability for your product lines even as you go from state to state. It's not, it's not going to be dependent on the operator. Um, a couple key features on the machine here is that we're ASME stamped and certified and UL approved. Uh, the ASME stamping is the highest certification you can get for pressure vessels. Uh, some exciting news is, too, we actually just got certified by fire marshals to be permitted for Washington here, which they said is extremely challenging to do. They said we're actually the only extraction system unit to be permitted by fire marshals. Uh, another key feature here is our liquid storage system. A lot of other companies use five-gallon water chillers um, and hot water baths to try to change the temperature of their vessel. Uh, what happens, though, is your pressure, as your temperature goes up and down, that's where your product can cook. It can decarboxylate. You can get unwanted uh, plant material in there, um, lose the terpenes. So what we have here is we had this built specifically to match our machine specifications. And so we have 20 gallons of hot water, 20 gallons of cold water in here. 40,000 BHTUs. So what that means is when we set that temperature, it stays within a degree, which we preserve the terpenes through the process there. So this is our extraction package here. Uh, what comes out of the, this is the uh, separator here is where your product comes out of. For lack of better term, it's almost like a butter. W typically what comes out of there is what we'd call like a silver product. That's in that, that 35 to 50 percent THC or CBD range. What a lot of our customers wanted actually was um, high quality CO2 uh, pins and cartridges. So what this is here is uh, uncut uh, CO2 oil that's uh, THC, it's about 65 percent. How we got that is we actually refined it uh, using a post-processing and winterizing with some of the Buki equipment here. This is the Buki 20 liter rotovapor system here. And so after the product comes out of the vessel there, we mix it with uh, grape seed organic grapeseed alcohol, and we mix it 10 parts to one, and essentially we'll de-wax the product. Once the product is de-waxed, then what's left is just grapeseed alcohol and pure THC or CBD oil. We put it in our rotovapor system here. We have full control where we have the vacuum circulating pump, uh, the chiller here. 
and we'll put it under pressure and we'll, re, we'll then pull out, it's a distillation is what it is. So we'll then go ahead and pull out essentially the, the grapeseed uh, alcohol. So then when you, what you're left with is just pure uncut THC and CBD oil. So we're also really a technology and development company. And so what uh, we see bottlenecks with our customers. And so why we were doing a lot of the extraction and rotovapes, we saw all of our customers were filling their cartridges by hand. It's a very time consuming, messy, dirty job. In a good day, they would get about 300 to 500 cartridges done. So Paul Tommaso, who, who's the engineer and one of our partners here, he's also the, the, the scientist behind this design here, but he built this cartridge filler that essentially will pull the caps, a fill, recap. And so in the very first day of production, our customers ended up doing 3,500 cartridges in eight hours versus doing them by hand. Uh, one other thing we do is we're MRX Labs as well. We're the largest uh, cannabis testing lab. And what we do is we back everything up with data and science too. So not only are we extraction facility, but we test everything going in, everything going out, the terpene profiles, the cannabinoid profiles. And so that's an advantage we have that other companies don't have to be able to back everything up with analytical data as well. Soluble and readily available. It also has your fulvic acid, but the real kicker in here.